What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Like and subscribe or you'll run over a spike strip during your next road trip. Sometimes stopping a speeding criminal takes drastic measures. That's when police throw down a spike strip and let it shred the perp's tires to pieces. Check out these insane police spike strip moments and hang around till the end to see something that will make your jaw drop. I don't think he'll be going anywhere. The cop put himself in a dangerous spot to stop this guy. I got one! I got one! Yeah, you're not gonna be driving away after that. The spikes don't work if the criminals can just make an easy turn. <laughs> yeah, he gave it his all. <laughs> this went from a low speed chase to no chase at all. It's a good thing he ran away. They should probably give this dude a different job. He could have easily avoided that. Some people just aren't good at crime. Again, take a look. There it is. There it is, Michael. Spike There's your strip. spike strip. We always told you that we normally don't see that uh, being conducted on the freeway, but the major intersection here is the 15. But it's just a matter of time. Even the cop couldn't avoid this strip. He won't be running for long. There was no chance he'd get away. When avoiding the spikes goes wrong. Oh. Oh my God. Nothing like a pit maneuver and spike strip combo. Cooper catches up to the pickup truck, does a pit maneuver that sends the truck rolling off the turnpike. End game. Another spike and pit maneuver. One two punch. Down through Curry, still on Bloomfield, passing Walmart. Good busy Walmart. <laughs> and pop goes the other tire. Stolen tag attached to the vehicle. Yep, that'll do the trick. Stick it. He's still westbound. Flat tires, I think. It's tough to escape with four flat tires. He couldn't turn away after running over the spikes. On to Camry. Oh, into parked cars. Overturned. BMW overturned the drivers. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay, so this is coming to an end here. That was one destructive spike strap. Sometimes a spike strip causes collateral damage. Oh God, oh my God, holy Holy everybody just be okay, God. Even the, I mean, obviously the police officers too, God. Lord, let everybody be okay in the name of Jesus. Driving on two tires only works for motorcycles. At the very least, what we're seeing now is a van heading at least in the right direction down the highway. 
just now spinning out that back tire indeed of the passenger side did blow out come out of the, the van there's a second individual second individual seemed to have come out of the driver he wasn't going anywhere after he got spiked and pitted all right state's trying to pit again a successful pit Vehicle stopped, officers are approaching. This dude really gave it his all. Spinning out, the suspect opens the door, jumps out, and jumps over a fence. He keeps running and hops an even bigger fence. But cops are close behind, and as Sky 7 shows you, officers are moving in on him. He's trapped, and an officer slams him to the ground. That's gotta hurt. They're going to deliver him straight to jail. You! Get that you get that I hope the cops paid for their medical bills. Oh my god! Oh no! What the f What the f Yikes, say goodbye to all of your tires. I can't believe he made it that far after hitting the spike strap. That cop was slick with deploying the strip. This is what makes spike strips dangerous. Stop. Just signal forward, big time signal forward, Gala. We need EMS to ASAP. There's no getting out of this one. That was a close one. I stop sticked! Stop sticked! Speeding down the interstate with flat tires was just a bad move, I guess. This dude did not want to be caught. Not even flat tires will stop him from running. That's a big swing and a miss. Now that's how it's done. Hitting a light pole after running over a spike strip is just icing on the cake. Okay, this is making me dizzy. This bound looks like normal speed on those. All right, he's off. He's off again, spinning. He's off. He's in the he's in the water. In the water, right hand side. 